Looking ahead for you, D.C. voters head to the polls in just 20 days for the primary election. They'll nominate their party's candidates for several open seats, including D.C. mayor. Three Democratic candidates for that job faced off in a debate tonight. John Henry is live to walk us through some of the big takeaways, John. Hey, Leslie, Mayor Muriel Bowser and Council Members Robert White and Trayon White participated in that debate, and it focused on more than a dozen topics, including crime, education, and affordable housing. First, the candidates tackled the topic of how to reduce crime in the face of a homicide rate that's increased each of the last six years. Mayor Bowser and Councilmember Trayon White both said more police officers are needed. I'm going to make the tough calls when it comes to violent crime, including making sure we have the police that we need. So my plan is not just to uh, increase the police, but create wraparound services, uh, create better housing, uh, mental health services. Councilmember Robert White added expanding violence prevention programs should be a bigger focus than hiring more police. Because if our goal is to keep people safe, we have got to prevent more crimes. All three candidates agreed more must be done in the district to make sure students of color don't continue to fall behind their white peers in the classroom. We know for sure that at-risk dollars are going uh, exactly where they're supposed to be. The mayor has been in office for seven and a half years, and those at-risk funds have yet to get to the students that need them. There's been a strategic divestment in youth, and this happened way before the pandemic. Both council members went after the mayor again on the topic of affordable housing with claims she could have achieved more. DC has a plethora of vacant and blighted properties in our own portfolio. We have to invest in those houses, build them up, and get people in those houses. I'm going to stand up to developers and say, if you want to be a part of our community, you have to build the housing we need. But the mayor told her opponents to look at her record. I am the only mayor across the country who has made the type of investments that we've made in our housing production trust fund. Now, early voting begins June 10th, and the primary election date is June 21st. Historically, Democrats usually go on to win the general election, but we ultimately won't know what happens until every ballot is counted later this year. Leslie? All right, John, thank you. And, of course, we've got a voter's guide for the D.C. primary election right now on our free WUSA 9 app. So before you head to, you know, cast your vote, it's got information on all the races, the candidates, and the deadlines for getting your ballots counted.